Good Monday morning to you, meteorologist Vanessa Alonso here in the KQ2 Weather Center. We have a red flag warning or a fire weather warning that's in effect for us here in parts of the KQ2 viewing area, especially in areas near the Missouri-Iowa line today due to a high fire danger that's going to be in place. Even though Buchanan County, Andrew County, Atchison County, Black County, you're not under that fire weather warning, red flag warning, but still today is going to be a day you'll want to refrain from outdoor burning, just how dry and how windy it's going to be. Now on our satellite and radar, we've had a few passing clouds this morning, but relative humidity values have, be, have been anywhere between 20 to 30 percent. So that is signifying just how dry it is out there in our atmosphere. And also, we're going to have very strong south to southwest winds that are going to be gusting up to 20, 25 miles per hour this afternoon. So with the very breezy and the very dry conditions that are in place, that is why we have that high fire danger. So again, regardless if you're under that red flag warning or not, just please hold off on outdoor burning until later on in the week when conditions get better. As we head into Tuesday, we're going to have our winds switching up from the southwest to the northwest, gusting up to 35, 40 miles per hour as a very strong cold front is going to be pushing through here, and that is going to have an effect on our temperatures. Today, with those very strong south to southwest winds, temperatures will go from 43 degrees at 8 a.m. already to 70 degrees by noon, 77 as we wrap up our work and school day. Now here in St. Joseph on our Sunday, we topped out yesterday at 76 degrees. That tied the record high of 76 that was set back in 1981. Today, I think we're going to break a new record high here in St. Joseph. The record high for February 26 is 73 degrees that was set back in 1988. I am going for a high of 77 degrees today, so that is why we're going to have a new record high today. I believe we're going to do that. That is something we'll have to wait and see later on this afternoon, so you'll have to Watch KQ2 News at 5, 6, and 10 with Scott Kilgore to see if we did break a new record high today. We'll be near record highs on Tuesday with a high of 72 before that cold front pushes through here late Tuesday night into Wednesday. And that is really going to dip down the temperatures and give us that reality check that, hey, it's still winter, it's still February as we head into our Wednesday with below average temperatures in the 30s before we rebound back up to above average temperatures as we head into Thursday and into our Friday. So here's the breakdown. Here comes that cold front as we head into Tuesday afternoon, into the evening hours, and into early Wednesday. Now you did see that quick sprout of blue colors there. That is signifying a chance of a rain, rain snow mix as we head into Wednesday. Now not expecting much in terms of accumulations, but we have to thank our lucky stars because as this cold front pushes out to the south and to the east on Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, there's a threat for severe weather in places like St. Louis, into Chicago, Detroit, Cincinnati, Ohio, as this cold front moves into a very warm, unstable air mass. For us, our air mass is stable enough, even though it's going to be warm enough, that we're not going to be under the gun for that severe weather threat. So looking ahead to our hour by hour forecast for tomorrow night at 8 p.m., you can start seeing those little speckles of blue popping up. That is signifying that snow or rain snow mix. That is quickly going to be out of here by after midnight on Wednesday. And then we're going to have that very strong northwesterly wind, and that is what's going to usher in that much colder air for our Wednesday. So for today, again, I'm going for a high of 77 degrees, which I do believe is going to be our new record high today. Again, it's going to be sunny, dry, breezy with those southwest winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour. Bring in that red flag warning, high fire danger. Overnight lows tonight will be falling to 43 degrees, a few clouds. Add ahead of the cold front tomorrow, 72 for the high before those winds really switch up to the northwest as that cold front pushes through here, allowing for those high temperatures 
to top out at 37 degrees for our Wednesday and then we'll rebound quickly back up into the 50s, 60s, even the 70s as we head into late week into the weekend. Of course, you can check us out anytime on KQ2.com and of course on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages for the latest weather forecast. Have a great day.